uh, we're here again for our latest um, chain mail session. I'm still doing the makeup. Yeah, good on you, Chris. <laughs> Don't remember the last time I wore makeup. All right, let me just pop uh, this chat out so I can see it a bit better. All right, fantastic. Oh, look, there I am. I can see myself now. I've been complaining about not being able to see the um, stream. It's because I hadn't pressed play. That would be it. So how are we all today? Hey Di, how you going? And Sonia? Stephen, Dawn. Hey Christina and Joe. Shirley, good to see you. All right. Who else have we got on here? Kim, Susie. Is that about it? Marion, hey, how are you? Linda and Jenny, good to see you guys. Hi, Elizabeth. Lizzie wants to know who you are. Oh. 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 <laughs> I am. I am, I said. All right. Well, everyone's a bit quiet tonight. Marion, glad you got here, love. <laughs> You're stuck in traffic, Stephen. That doesn't sound like much fun. Oh, Daryl, how are you? Kiwi pothole. Mm. <laughs> All right, since we seem to have a crowd on here, we might as well. Um... <laughs> yeah, he's very trying. Very, very trying. <laughs> Hello, Wes, you made it this week. All right, beautiful guys. Well, we might um, start then, since everybody seems to be coming on. The wife is driving. Well, that's good to hear, Stephen. <laughs> that is really good to hear. I could just see the defence in court. But Aussie Mailers was on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll switch this over to the other camera, guys, and we'll make a start on tonight. Linda, oh, Linda and Debbie. Hey, Natalie. All right, I'm just going to switch this over. All right, so the weave tonight is Scary Weave. Um, I don't know where that name come from. Not a particularly scary weave, so um, I've aimed it. I have aimed it at intermediate, but it's just because it's fiddly, not um, pretty um, difficult to understand. So the four pieces I've got made up for you tonight. This one shows um, 14 gauge, um, 1.6 millimeter, and the ring ID is 8 mils. So that's the 14 gauge one. 16 gauge, 1.2 mils. You know the ring ID for this one is 6. An 18 gauge, oh, I've just realized there's a typo in the tutorial. I've got nine instead of a bracket. 18 gauge, one mil, the ring ID is five. And 20 gauge, which is 0.8 mils, the ring ID for this one is four. Um, because it's such a wide weave, I'll try and keep that still, it's all blurry. Because it's such a wide, uh, chunky weave, um, I like the finer gauges myself. The 18 and the 20 gauge are, are quite lovely little bracelets. I can't see myself wearing something as chunky as the 14 gauge one, but to each their own. All right, so I've only done this in the bright aluminium. I didn't try it in any AA sizes. Um, some of them you might be able to find AA rings that are close, but I haven't. I haven't tried it. So if you're wanting to incorporate colour, 
and you actually manage to do so, um, I'd love to, to see what you do. All right, so let's make a start. All right, so you need to prep some of your rings or easier if you prep some of your rings. So take two of those closed rings that you've prepped in the beginning and uh, pop on, pop two closed rings onto an open ring. I've just got things going off everywhere. All right, and close that up. So this weave is very much about preparing units and then pop another open ring through your two pre-closed rings. And um, I would set that aside now and make up a couple of more units like that. So two closed rings onto an open ring. Close it up. Pop another open ring through there. So I've got rings prepped for four of these units, so I'm just going to do all of those. And one more, one more there. And the final unit. Has someone lost us? No. Okay. Oh, I can't go. All right, so prep as many of those as you want. You want at least two to start with. Okay. Now, taking up one of those units that you've just prepped, whoops, and another open ring. So we want it in the one to one format. And what we want to do is we want to separate our two middle rings just slightly, and we want to put our open ring. Oops, see if I can do that. Bring that a bit closer. Through both of those rings, so through one on one side, and then through the other ring on the other side, and close that up. And then we flip our work over to the other side. And we weave another ring through the same positioning on the other side. Okay, so that gives us our completed unit. And again, I like to prep a couple of those in advance. I'm just gonna go through and do them all. So one, two, one, we slide those two in the middle slightly away from each other. We put an open ring through one of them, bringing it around through the other ring. Closing it up. And we flip our work over to the other side and we put another ring Mirroring another ring through there. And closing it up. Now I'm being very careful with these units because they can unravel and they're a pain in the bum to, to get back. Okay. Again, just separating those two middle rings putting one ring through one and then through the other, carefully closing it up. Flipping it over to the other side, repeating for the other side. Okay, and one more unit to make up. Slightly separating those two so we can put our open ring through one and then the other. OK, 
Okay. Flipping it over. And doing the same on the other side. Okay, all right, so we then need to join. So we do all those units for that you need for the length of the bracelet, and then it's simply just joining these units together. So grab your first unit and put your twist tie through the rings on one side. Now, the correct positioning is when you look at these, all our, this ring here, they are fiddly. All right, here we go. This ring here becomes our anchor point. So we want to make sure that we've got all our units positioned this way before we join them. Okay. All right, so taking up an open ring and our first unit, we're going to put it through the anchor ring that I showed you. And we're going to slip it in underneath the ring that's on top. So we've got three layers of ring. I'll, I'll show you that. We've got this top layer here. We've got our middle that's got two. And then our bottom layer of rings. Okay. So our first ring goes underneath our top layer and picks up our anchor point. So it just slips in there. Like that. Now be very careful because as I said these units can come undone. I'm taking up another unit, making sure we've got the anchor point where we want it. This time attaching to that same ring but underneath the second layer, so between the second and the third layer, go in, grab that anchor ring. Now you can see the whole unit is starting to fold back. Oh, sorry, I got it too high. Folding back on itself. And then we close that ring up and carefully bring that unit back together. Okay. And that's anchoring the the weaves joining the, the units together. So again, going on to the new unit, finding our anchor ring, and we're coming in underneath the top row, picking up our just our anchor ring, which is Oops, keep picking up the wrong ring. There we go. So pick up that anchor ring. Grabbing another one of our units. This time picking up the anchor ring underneath the middle row. So between the middle and the last row. All layers. Carefully join, closing that ring up. Holding that unit all back together again, and voila. Okay, so I'll do that connection just one more time. Through the anchor ring, between the first and the second layer of rings. Picking up the new one. Going through the anchor point between the second and the third layer of rings. Closing it up. And then folding that back together. So that's it. That scary weave. So has everybody gotten that? Do you need me to do any more units? How are we feeling about it?
right, hopefully you guys are able to follow along. Just waiting to check if anyone needs any more, any more shown. <laughs> yeah, this one's, it is, um, like I said, it, it's, it's not hard to put together. It is just fiddly and you really do have to be careful when you attach uh, the new unit to your weave. I don't know if you were watching it, but it was folding open as I was, as I was attaching it. Um, if you're not very careful with that, it just goes bleh and then you've got to try and fiddle them all back in together. As long as you take it slowly um, and carefully, um, it isn't too hard. But you've got to remember, keep your units the right way around so that the anchor point or that anchor ring is in the right position every time. On the top, so first off you connect through the top and then in the next one you connect through the bottom so that you're alternating the connection points. All good. Another unit. Oh, I didn't see that one. Okay, all right. All right. I'm gonna. I haven't got any more rings prepped, so I'll just quickly oh, close a couple up. Gonna do the question while you're prepping them. Um, what question did you want again? Uh, favorite villain. I think. All right. So the prize this week will be, see this is the difficulty in doing it while I'm trying to prep. I can't do both things at once. All right, the prize this week for you guys that were here a couple of weeks ago, I've got another one of these tool, oh, cat here. Another one of these tool cases sitting on my desk. So I'll give it another one of these away this week. Okay, another little tool cases. So while you're waiting for me to do another one of these, if you're interested in being in the run for a tool case, uh, Chris wants to know what your favourite villain is. Now it can be horror, it can be comics, it can be whatever. No, we're not picky. It could be Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street if you like. Um, whoever your favourite villain is will put you in the running to get um, the travel carry case, tool carry case. All right, so who was it that asked? Sonia? Yeah. All right, Sonia. Okay, so we start with a one, two, one chain as the first part of our unit. I usually make all of those up that I need. It's just easier to have these made in advance. You take that unit, you slightly move the rings apart from each other and you feed an open ring through one. And then the other, oh, Spike from Buffy, yeah. All right. Oh, jewelry. <laughs> yeah, I knew there were, I knew I liked jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so through both those rings like that, close it up. Okay, flip your work over to the other side and feed another ring through the same path on the other side. And that's our prepped units. Okay, and when we attach them, you want to keep them so that this ring here is the one that we're attaching. And um, to do that, we pick up our weave here. We go through this attachment anchor ring between the first and the second layer. And then we pick up our new unit and we go through that same attachment ring, but this time we're going through between whoops, the second and the third layer. Pick that up, wait a minute. There we go. Close that ring up. and then fold that work back on. And you just keep going from there. Did that help, Sonia? Quite 
What are these spikes? Spike? Oh, of that. course. Why wouldn't they be? Okay. Alright, so hopefully you got that, Sonia. I can't see anything from you with all the the answers coming up in chat. Darth Vader. Okay. <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> you gotta let that little girl go, Stephen. <laughs> Thor isn't a Jillian. No, he's not. He's a he's a Thor, not a Jillian. Spike is barely a villain. He was a villain. He was trying very, very hard to be a villain. <laughs> <laughs> The master from Buffy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, nah, Spike. Sorry, <laughs> she's evil. <laughs> All right. No, I have to agree with the Spike one. Actually, I didn't even think of Spike. So that's that was a good thought. Jack Nicholson. Yeah, true, true, Shirley. Um, I liked that one with the witches. I can't remember what it was now, which is at Eastwick or something like that. Chuck, as in Chucky? No, as in the TV series was serial killer. No, I don't know that one. Like seven seasons of it. No, I haven't watched that. I haven't watched that one then. Oh no, she meant Chucky. Chucky, yep. Oh, the question was, was uh, favourite villain? And uh, the prize was the tool case that we gave away a couple of weeks ago. The, um, the travel to ca tool case, blue one with the Velcro. The where, Master from Doctor Who, yes, yes. Where's the busy selling his wares? Oh, selling his wares. Karina, the question was your favourite villain? Now, it can be from any show, movie, cartoon character. We don't care. Just whoever your favourite villain is. At the moment, Spike is running hot. <coughs> <laughs> Megamind. Loki. Yeah, okay. I can see that. He's just about as tortured as Spike is. Missy from Doctor Who. Uh, yeah, you only get one draw. You can pick as many as you like, but you only get one draw. <laughs> Scott says Ma 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 Magneto. Okay, yep. <laughs> Susie's on fire tonight. Oh, Favourite villain is Wes. <laughs> yeah, Wes has got a secret. <laughs> Loki is the new Spike. Um, yeah, I can see that. They're both tortured. They're both skinny individuals. <laughs> My husband is banging his head in his palm of his hand here. <laughs> All right. Okay, so hopefully everybody was okay. I didn't see if Sonia came back to me about yes, she, she was fine. All yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry, it's scrolling past me so fast I didn't see that. All right, so that's a scary weave. Um, if you guys get um, get it finished up, don't forget to pop it up on Aussie Mailers. So I said if you do some experimentation with it and put some colours into it, I'd love to see it. I didn't actually get around to doing, to doing that. Um, cats misbehaving. And uh, so pop, pop those up on Aussie Mailers for it, for it to look at. You're in the shops now. All right, see you, Stephen. All right, so um, tomorrow is the West Sydney meetup.
for those that are able to come out to Penrith, we'll be at the Red Cow Inn or the Red Cow Hotel, whatever they're calling it now, uh, near the train station at Penrith at um, midday. So for those that um, are coming, Chris and I will hopefully both see you there. Stephen will be coming along. Uh, so that's happening tomorrow at midday. Um, what else have we got? Okay, so a couple of things um, regarding December's subscribers this, um, for the kits. We're going to delay sending them out by about a week uh, because we have to have all the kits and all the tutorials and the fact that we're getting ready for Christmas um, has delayed getting the kits and everything out by a week. So normally they would, they'd be going out tomorrow, wouldn't they, normally? So it'll be the, uh, the following Monday, Tuesday when we start to send them out. We're not doing the videos um, live for December, so um, it won't interrupt anything there that you haven't got the kit before the videos get released because it won't be doing, we won't be doing that. Yeah, Julie, we're having a lunch at Penrith. Are you going to come? Jump on a train? <laughs> so, yeah, so that'll be released, um, I'm, I'm getting that a week later. Registrations for the January subscriptions um, will be open again on the 1st of December. 1st of December also sees the sale, 12 days of Christmas sale starting. So from midnight on the 1st of December, uh, that will launch. We will be sending newsletters out about that. Um, but you can see on our Facebook group the um, the train. <laughs> yeah, aren't you going to rub rub elbows with the um, with the common lot? The great unwashed. The great unwashed. <laughs> um, no, I forgot where I was. Oh, the sale. Yep. So that starts on the first of December, uh, midnight. Um, newsletter will come out. We're also doing a prize draw this year, which is something we haven't done before. Um, so for every order that's fifty dollars and over, you'll you'll get a, a name in the draw, and that was for a prize that's about a couple of hundred dollars worth of goodies, of which we will be giving away two of the new Zurons that we got in this week. So I'll swap this to. The GoPro so you can see these. So two of these will form part of the package. Um, I'll get that package together and, and show everybody it is but there's a couple of these. There'll also be um, the folding ruler that we got, the bead reamer, some kits and some rings. So this is um, the new pliers. These are three millimeter wide which is the same width as uh, the chisel nose and you can see that compared to um, the original short nose Zurons that is just a smidgen wider. So for those that are wanting a little bit more grip um, these ones are now up on the website. It's taken a little while for our supplier to actually get them in um, but we were finally able to get some. Okay so as I said two of those will be in the giveaway in the prize Every order that's $50 or over will get a name in the drawer each day. So if you order $50 each day, you'll get 12, 12 times in the drawer. Uh, what else was there? Hyperlinks orders are in. Oh, yes. As some of you might have seen, we actually received our Hyperlinks pre-order today. Still haven't had a chance to open the box yet um, and drool over everybody's pretties. But we'll be sending uh, the pre-orders out Monday. Most of them, should, most of them, if not all of them, will be uh, in the post by Monday. So thank you for your patience with that, um, and we will get all of those out. Yeah, I love the Zurons. Although for 14 gauge, I prefer the Lindstroms. They just give a much nicer close, to be honest. Um, I have had a little play with the wider Zurons, but I still prefer my Lindstroms for 14 gauge. Um, but especially 16 gauge if it's a tight weave and under, the Zurons are absolutely perfect. Okay, is that it? I think so. Yep. Have I missed anything? Has anybody got any questions? Oh, and of course the 1st of December is uh, the first opening of the advent calendars. For those who haven't cheated and opened them already. <laughs>
<laughs> so it'll be interesting. Hopefully everybody will be happy uh, with what they receive in their advent calendars. Are you laughing at Susie? Yes. With the cute courier visit? Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, you can never have too many pliers, Christina. You need different pliers for different reasons. Well, I'm glad you've got a cute courier, Susie. You should all ask for Aussie Mail Kid vouchers for Christmas. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Um, all right. I think that's it. If nobody else has any questions, so don't forget anybody who um, is going to be in the in Western Sydney to pop along to the Red Cow tomorrow at twelve o'clock. Um, and there's a, a handful of us turning up there. Um, otherwise, you'll be posting unboxing vids. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, uh, we, we've got one more uh, video to do for this month, or this will be our last live video for the year. Uh, so we'll put the notifications up Wednesday as per usual, and we'll see all of you guys next Saturday for our last one of the year. All right, so thanks very much, guys, and I will catch you all later. Okay, bye.